Hello music lover. Today I will show you how to make your own, high quality and custom length subwoofer RCALFE cable. With the help of this tutorial you will be able to make the cable, that you will need to connect your subwoofer to your surround or home stereo system. To make this LFE subwoofer cable, you will need a few components. Firstly a guitar or microphone shielded and high quality cable, that has at least two wires. The better the wire you will get, the cooler cable get in the end, the tasker brad, I found costs around $2 a meter. You'll also need RCA connectors, that can be put on the chooseed cable. RCA connectors cost from a few dollars to tens of dollars per pair. You'll also need some tools, a soldering iron, and some heat shrink tubing. Start with, that you measure how long you need the subwoofer cable, always make the cable with a little margin. Then cut the length of cable you need. Then stretch it from one end of the cable to the other by pulling on it to straighten it out. As you can see, this stretching releases at least one centimeter of excess rubber, which over time would degrade the life of the cable. For today's cable I will use these Reen RCA connectors, they give very good quality at an affordable price. Put the RCA connector housing on the cable, as it will can do after soldering. With a sharp paper knife remove the outer cable jacket, but be careful not to damage the inner conductors. Separate the gold color wires from the center two wires. Cut off all fabric threads so as not to interfere with the soldering process. Remove the jacket also the core wires, twist these center wires together. Prepare the other end of the cable for soldering, tin both wires, the gold color ground wire and the center wire. Tin the RCA connector contacts to make the soldering process easier and the result better. Tack off the extra lengths of wire, leave them as long as they need for soldering. So that they can be soldered without short circuiting. Solder the ground wire and then the center wire. Check with a multimeter that no short circuit has formed. Then solder the other RCA connector in the same way. Once both RCA jacks are soldered, check with a multimeter that there is no short circuit and that the wires are soldered correctly, ground to ground and signal to signal pin. If you don't know how to use a multimeter, check out Tech Screw School video on how to use a multimeter. Then cut a small piece of insulating tape and put it between the ground and center pins to avoid short circuits in the future. You can put several layers of insulation tape for extra safety. At the point where the cable joins the RCA connector, apply super glue for extra cable fixation and longer cable life. If your chosen cable is larger than the plastic locking bracket can accommodate, then cut off the excess length of the bracket so that it fits your cable too. Put it on the cable and screw the RCA plug housing tight. Tighten it securely so that it does not screw loose. Looks very good. Now do the same with the other RCA connector. Finally last quality check with multimeter, looks like everything is fine. Great. Here's your high quality, custom length cable for your hi-fi system. This LFE subwoofer cable will cost at least 3 times as much in the shop and it will not be the right length for your needs. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons on this video to support my D activity and meet me in another useful money saving video. As always, feel free to ask your question below this video in the comments section. Thank you and have a good day.